G'day folks, how you going? Scott Pollitt here. Welcome to my channel, the Beta FPV Light Radio 3, as you can see. If you guys have got the Light Radio 2, and you're wondering if you should upgrade to the Light Radio 3, I'm here to tell you absolutely. Today I'm going to do a quick unboxing, have a look at the text and specs of this upgraded Beta FPV light radio. Have a look at what's changed between the two, what improvements have been made, and they're quite a few, and put it on the bench. Connect to the Beta Flight FPV configurator, check that out, and, and explore exactly why this light radio 3 is a super duper upgrade. Thanks for stopping by, let's go. Can see nice packaging as usual always from beta fpv we've got the features of this particular unit on the rear here so this is the 2.4 gig elrs module straight away compared to the light radio 2 se things look a bit more significant inside the box instruction manual for binding power etc. Well, what Beta FPV have shipped these with are some really nice silicon rubbery gimbal protectors. Pretty cool. I know the 2SE had them as well. The 2SE the gimbals are slightly closer together as you can see. Um, I don't think it's really going to alter the flying experience though. If anything, there's a lot more substance to this radio. It feels nicer in the palm. A bit more real estate to hold. This is probably, um, yeah, this would be good for the smaller hands. But my hands are medium to large size and this fits really, really well. Now you can see the stick ends are... A different colour they were the just a shiny silver in colour and now they're sort of a gunmetal grey matching the new lanyard hook which is a welcome improvement I know we've been asking for a, something to hang it around your neck with so that's really really good you can also see they have done away with the toggle switches so what we've got on the top here the gimbals they do feel they do feel much nicer than the the two gimbals, quite smooth. Uh, they aren't the whole gimbals, however, if you just have a quick squeeze at the link down below and the picture on the screen there, you can see you can now get the Light Radio 3 with some Hall sensor gimbals, which is really cool and they're priced really well too. So if you do purchase this radio, uh, I would certainly recommend that you grab those as well however i think for the beginner and the newcomer to the sport these would be more than adequate it does look a lot slimmer without the toggle switches on the top so I'm not too sure why they've done away with the toggle switches however uh, i quite like the setup here um, these switches are quite strong because they're fairly short I know the longer switches do tend to break if you drop it because uh, if you do drop it it always ends up landing on the switch and breaking it <laughs> but these are quite strong because they're quite stumpy looking uh, however this yeah, I think it looks really good so you've got your two-way switch at the back here left and right and you have your three-way toggles on top um, fairly fairly nice movement uh, you probably need to be careful that you, in flight, don't push them too hard and miss your marker. But you can see your finger sits over them really well. And, yeah, switch away. I think that's really cool. But apart from the grip size, uh, it does have the same nice rubbery texture. So it does stick in your hands really well. And it feels actually like a, yeah, it feels really, really nice, guys. Absolutely. Really good. On-off switch. Underneath, a couple of extra buttons. 
Of course you have your binding button on the left, your USB-C for charging and for hooking it up to the configurator on your PC which I will jump into soon. You have your setup button as well as your trainer port. Let's put them on the scales. I think you'll find that the 3 is a bit heavier because obviously there's a bit more substance to it. So the 2 weighed in at 174 grams and the 3 don't forget there is the 1S battery inside, uh, 244 grams. A little bit heavier, but certainly nothing to write home about. Speaking of the internal battery, this is sporting a 2000 milliamp 1S, which is going to get you plenty of flight time. You can probably see, yes, there is a port at the rear. And if we slide this cover off, we can see it's a nice little module port. So. What exactly is that for? Your TBS Crossfire TX module can sit on the rear here with the adapter or what I would probably do is go for the 2.4 gig ELRS as that is exactly what this is designed for. It sits on the rear there and we now have the ELRS system ready to go. This obviously is ELRS built in so should you happen to get the FR Sky version and you do want to play with the new Beat FPV ELRS system, then grab one of these little modules. Really well priced. I'll have the links down below for everything that you see here today. If you want to investigate further, if you're new to the hobby, smash on those links and check out this gear at the Beat FPV website. If you are going to run a module on the back here, you are going to need to hook this up to the Beat FPV configurator and make sure everything is set up in there, which is quite easy to do, which is what we can do right now. Let's go. Okay, so once you've plugged in your USB-C, make sure the controller is switched off, otherwise your PC won't recognize it. Open up your Beta FPV configurator, hit the connect button. If the connect button doesn't work, just click on uh, activate um, FC board down here. Sometimes it reverts to that and that will connect you up straight away. No probs, nice, simple, easy screen here. You can see at the top here which light radio you have. The SX1280, the internal module, hardware version, and firmware version. You can see I'm running mode 2, which is your standard pilot mode. Uh, trainer port, that's going to be off, because we're not doing any training. And this is the bit here that you really just need to concentrate on. So, internal RF, as I am using the ELRS radio that is going to obviously say ELRS if I had the fly sky version which has a few different protocols uh, this would have a load of other different protocols underneath it but it hasn't so if you do have the FR sky and you wish to connect your nano at the rear there you'll need to select external RF make sure you switch this one off first otherwise I'll just show you it won't actually allow you to connect uh, external with the internal one on so make sure that is switched off switched off and on and we're using the crossfire protocol over on the right here this will still relate to our internal power I'll just Click it back to where we are internally. So you can switch between you can switch between 150, 25 milliwatts, and you can also enable your binding phrase if you wish to do so. And from here, it's a good idea just to make sure that everything is working correctly. All your switches and toggles and buttons are all speaking, which it looks like they are, which is really good. And straight away you can see I haven't done any calibrating and they're pretty much all set to zero, which is really good. And that's as pretty much uh, as easy as it gets, folks. Uh, before you bail out, make sure you click on save and reboot. Make sure to reconnect. 
and what it does is it will actually remember your last setting and lastly guys which I forgot to mention when you have your rear nano connected it will bring up some other options here for your power so you can actually switch it manually from 10 millil from 10 milliwatts all the way to 500 and again don't forget to hit the save and reboot so there you have it guys thanks to the addition of the external module bay some cool switches uh, some improved ergonomics design feel weight i think this is going to be a fantastic addition to your kit uh, if you're new to the sport uh, these come in at a really really good price it's not going to break your bank and it will certainly get you up and flying with your beta fpv whoops and drones the lrs guys as i said 2.4 also available is this fabulous beta fpv cloth carry case which is going to protect your radio again all this gear is linked below so be sure to smash on those links and check them out it's actually called the storage case for light radio 3 and i will be using this for sure nice and sturdy it does not feel cheap at all you've got your lanyard hook now included on your radio so why not get some straps as well i've got a couple of groovy beta fpv ones here so A nice beta FPV radio strap that will certainly come in handy for me nice case you can put some gear up the top here in the little mesh pocket like so it also has a nice little area down here where you can slide your external module if you want you can also actually attach the external unit on the rear and it will actually allow you to put that in no problems at all zip it up and good to go quality gear folks absolutely as you can see i've got the meteor 75 here i've done a few video reviews of this thing uh, yeah really really cool uh, coming up in the next few hours is a binding video i'm going to show you guys how to easily hook up your new light radio with a media 75 really really simple elrs we're going to have a fly and and answer a couple of questions if you guys have any regarding initial setup and binding so keep an eye out for that smash that bell light radio 3 se built in the elrs 10 out of 10 guys five stars guys really nice okay i'm gonna hook it up to my meteor 75 <laughs> i'm gonna go have a fly thanks to my good friends at beta fpv lots more to come from them as well so be sure to hit that bell i'll see you guys real soon take it easy bye for now sneak peek of what's coming up next for those who have stuck it out right to the end that's right i've got the yep you got it i've got the external rf module to fit my, my radio master tx16 and yes it's black which means this is the one watt version which is going to be really really cool elrs one watt tons of power that i'm going to really really enjoy sorting out this new module slick there you go folks all hooked up i have my nano on the rear nicely paired if you do have this nano and you don't have the module for your larger radio tx16 etc binding is really really simple this all you do is connect your 75 into better flight into your pc go to the cli hit bind underscore rx and then make sure your unit's powered on press the rear button here once quickly and then press it three times quickly 
plate for a couple of seconds and you are bound. It's as simple as that. I'm not going to use the internal ELRS of this uh, light radio 3. I'm going to use my 500 watt, which is why the red light's on a nano transmitter at the back here. 2.4 gig as mentioned. I'm going to take it out, fly the 75, my improved VTX antenna, and I'm going to see what sort of range we get with this radio. I think it's going to be pretty cool. Quite like it, really nice to hold, uh, super portable especially with that carry case gear. Thanks again to Beta FPV. This is really nice stuff and I am going to charge up my 1S's and go for a fly. Smash on the bell, drop me a comment, absolutely guys. Thanks for stopping by. See you again real soon. Bye for now.